So in this video, I'm given that W1 and W2 are subspaces of a vector space V. And I want to show that W1 intersect W2 is also a subspace of the vector space V. So first of all, I want to give you a quick recall on how exactly you're supposed to show that uh, something is a subspace of another thing. So um, let's do recall to show that, for example, W is a subspace. So this is the set notation of subspace in linear algebra, that W is a subspace of V. You need to show, no, sorry, you need to show three things. So the first thing to show is you need to show that the zero vector or the zero element belongs or is contained in, so this is a symbol for is contained in, W. The second condition is um, given two elements of W, so given X and Y belong to W. So given two elements of W, X and Y that belong to W, we wanna show that the sum or the addition, so x plus y, um, that this resulting element belongs to w, right? Belongs to that set. And the third thing is given a scalar c, so c belongs to the real numbers, so it's a scalar. Um, you want to show that c. Um, scalar multiplied whatever element in W. So X is an element in W. So you want to show that C scalar multiplied X belongs to W. Now scalar multiplication assumes that it's a it's a, it's an element in W. So scalar multiplication can be anything you want. So any scalar times um, an element in W will give you an element in W. Right, so this is how you show that something is a subspace. So now we want to show that um, this thing over here, W1 intersect W2, is a subspace. So um, our first step, our first step, is to show that the zero vector belongs to W1 intersect W2. So how do you do that? Well. What is, in fact, an intersection? So an intersection of two sets, of two sets, right, is everything that those sets share in common. So everything that those two sets share in common. So this is kind of an aside to, to show you what I'm getting at, share in common. So uh, visually, if you want, using kind of a Venn diagram visual, visual, visualized uh, picture, and then if you have a set A and you have a set B, then the intersection will just be this thing, right? So this is what A and B have in common. So this thing visually relates to or is the same as A intersect B. So that's what that means. That's what the intersection means, right? So it's anything that both A and B have. So let's say A had, um, if let's say, so for example, for example, if an element A belongs to A, and let's say B belongs to B, but A also belongs to B, then we say that A belongs to A intersect B, but B does not belong to A intersect B because it's contained in B but not in A. So visually, that can look like, let me add another color. Visually, that'll look like you have an element A there, and you have, uh, let's say, 
an element B here. Right? That's 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 what it looks like visually. Okay. So now that was kind of an so this was an aside to the actual problem. So the actual problem is I want to show that the zero vector belongs to the intersection, right? So how would you proceed? Well, um, since W1 is a subspace, right? Because we know we're given here. We're given that W1 and W2 are subspaces, right? So we're given that. So since we're given that, since W1 is a subspace, then we can also say, we can also say that zero, the zero vector, belongs to W, because that's one of the properties of a subspace. A pro one of the three properties of subspace is that it definitely contains the zero vector, right? So the zero vector. And similarly, since W2 is a subspace, the zero vector belongs to W2, right? So the zero vector belongs to W2, and the zero vector belongs to W1. So what does that mean? Well, that means that, so this means that the zero vector uh, belongs, belongs to W1 and W2. So the zero vector belongs to W1 and W2. So it's that's that means that like you can say that this element here is in W1 and is in W2. So what does that mean? Well, look at the sort of the, the loose definition I gave of an intersection. An intersection of two sets is everything that those two sets share in common. Well, the zero vector is something that W1 and W2 share in common, right? So you can write that, so the zero vector belongs to W1 intersect W2 because zero belongs to W1 and zero belongs to W2, right? So I've shown the first of the three parts of showing a subspace. So I've shown that the zero vector belongs to W1 intersect W2. So I've shown that. Okay. Now we'll go to the second part of the proof. So the second part of the proof is um, given x belongs to W1 intersect W2, y belongs to W1 intersect W2, right? Show, so this is what I want to show, show that W1 plus W2 belongs to W1 intersect W2. So this is what I'm trying to show, right? Now, um, I, I'm given this. I'm given this because I, I just suppose that these two things are, are true. Because I, I need to start somewhere with my proof, right? So I say that W, uh, sorry, that X belongs to the intersection of W1 and W2, and that Y belongs to the intersection of W1 and W2. But what does what do these things what do these things mean? What do these things mean in terms of in terms of intersection terms of intersection so what i mean by that is if x belongs to w1 intersect w2 well if x belongs to w1 intersect w2 then we can say that x belongs to w1 and x belongs to w2 Right? That's that's a totally fair claim to say because oh sorry, that's the wrong notation. I should have written and and right? So this the intersection means that x belongs to w1 and x belongs to w2. Okay, so similarly we can say the same thing for y. We can say that y belongs to w1 and y belongs to w2. So the key step here, right, the key step here is to remember that w1 and w2 are subspaces, 
right? W1 and W2 are subspaces. That means that that means that they are both closed under addition. Closed under addition. Closed under addition is just another way of saying this condition, right? This is this is actually closure under under addition, right? So that's that's all I'm saying. I'm saying because it's a subspace, then um, W1 and W2 are both closed under addition. So that means that if X belongs to W1 and Y belongs to W1, then X plus 1 belongs to W1 because it's closed under addition. And X and W and X and Y are both elements of W1. So if you add two elements of W1, the definition of subspaces will tell you that both of these that the addition of both of these elements will belong to W1. Similarly, for x plus y in W2. So I know that x plus y, x belongs to W2, and y belongs to W2. So x plus y belongs to W2, right? Same reasoning, because x, uh, because W2 is uh, closed under um, addition, if I take any two elements of W2 and I add them together, then that addition, that sum, the result of that sum will belong to W2. That's the whole reasoning. That's basically the whole reasoning behind this proof, right? I'm saying, well, um, this belongs to the intersection, but because both of the elements are subspaces, then I can use a certain property. So that's what I'm doing here. So now I know these two things, right? I know that x plus y belongs to w1 and x plus y belongs to w1. So as a result, I can say that x plus y belongs to w1 and belongs to w2, right? So that means by definition of the intersection, when I have an and, that means that x plus y belongs to w1 intersect w2 because Remember the definition of the intersection, x plus y belongs to w1, and x plus y belongs to w2, right? So I've shown the second part of my proof, okay? And the last part of it, the last part of my proof is um, showing closure under scalar multiplication, we call it. So now what I'm given, I'm going to say that... Um, I'm given that x, let's say I'm given that x belongs to w1 intersect w2, and let c be uh, any scalar, any scalar belonging to r, right? So it's, it's any scalar, it's any real number, right? Then um, what I want to show, so my goal, my goal, or want to show, Right? So what I want to show is that C, uh, scalar multiplying, so scalar multiplying X by any scalar C will belong, so that result, oh, whoops, sorry about that, that result will belong to W1 intersect W2. Okay. So how am I going to show that? Well, it's really similar to the two other proofs, well, two other parts we just did. I'm basically going to say that since x belongs to w1 intersect w2, then x belongs to w1 and x belongs to w2, right? But again, the key part here is remembering that w1 and w2 are both subspaces, right? Since w1 and w2 are subspaces, that's, very, that's basically the most important part or idea of this proof is remembering, keeping like keeping in mind that W1 and W2 are subspaces. So since W1 and W2 are subspaces, they are closed under addition. Closed under addition. 
under oh I'm so sorry closed under scalar multiplication under scalar multiplication multiplication in other words it's it's basically saying or claiming that because w1 and w2 are are subspaces then this property holds given c belongs to r show that so we know that cx belongs to w1 and w2 right so it's closed under scalar multiplication okay so given that then we can say that because w1 and w2 are both subspaces subspaces we can say that c x so the scalar multiplication of x by scalar c belongs to w1 and that cx so scalar multiplication of x um, by scalar c also belongs to w2 right because because these are these are subspaces and they're closed under scalar multiplication so it doesn't matter what scalar you choose if you scalar multiply x um, by any scalar then you'll you'll still get the fact that that vector or that element will be in w1 and it will also be in w2 because the same the same concept applies for both um okay so so now i know that cx belongs to w1 and right and cx belongs to w2 so i can conclude that cx belongs to w1 intersect w2 and that shows the third part of my proof it shows that w1 intersect w1 w2 is closed under scalar multiplication well, i'll just write multi multiplication so uh, because we have shown one two and three we conclude so because we've shown that the zero vector belongs to w1 intersect w2 that w1 intersect w2 is closed under addition and closed under scalar multiplication then we conclude that w1 intersect w2 is a subspace of v